My topic is on the San Antonio Independent School District versus Rodriguez case of 1972. Now, while it was brought to the Supreme Court in 1972, it actually started in 1968, where a lawsuit was filed that challenged the constitutionality of Texas's system for funding public schools. Um, now, the reasons for bringing this up were twofold. One, there was the notion that education is a fundamental right, uh, meaning that everybody, no matter what or who, is entitled to an education in the U.S. Uh, the second reason being that wealth is a suspect class, uh, essentially saying that it's, a, it's the subject of uh, possible discrimination, uh, namely uh, wealthy versus poor. Um, now let's look at the facts of this case. Fact one is that in Texas, schools were mainly financed by local property taxes. Fact number two uh, was that because property values were higher in some areas, there were some significant disparities across districts in per pupil spending that arose. Uh, meaning essentially that in, in some districts that were richer, you know, each student would get about $500, where in some poor districts, each student would get maybe 300 or so. Um, now, when it was eventually brought to the Supreme Court, it was decided by these guys, and five of them, namely these five right here, decided to nix it. Um, four out of five of these were actually newly appointed justices uh, by President Nixon. Yes, that President Nixon. And their reasoning for nixing it was as follows. <clears throat> Public education is a fundamental right? Whew. I don't see the word education anywhere in the Constitution. That sounds like a load of hogwash to me. Hmm. And discrimination in this spending? Oh, what? They get free public school. What more could they possibly want? Who cares about whether it's good or bad or any of that nonsense, really? Hmm. Now, unfortunately, this still does go on today in most places in the U.S., though there are certain places that have improved a little bit upon the system, like in Hawaii, where they have a statewide-based funding, though um, local communities can certainly chip in every now and again uh, if they'd like to. Uh, hopefully, uh, across the entire U.S., we can eventually find something that works for everyone. 